hands up, 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 scoured the country, uh, New South Wales in particular, to come up with a bunch of um, you know, finalists for this thing. And there are some people who are so dedicated they've travelled to not only their own town for the slam heat, but to other towns. They've jumped towns, they've been like cane toads hopping around New South Wales to get into, you know, to, to compete in these heats, to get into the slam. A lot of the planets that are beyond your control have to align for you to win this thing. Last year I had the most miserable time because <laughs> certain people that might have been the reigning Australian champions were telling me, I think you're going to win, man. And I think I came last. And some of them have been crushed, but that's fair enough. They will, they will grow through the process of being crushed. Other people have, have, have got through and will, you know, end up in, in the big shed, the big, the big factory, to compete for glory and go on to the national uh, slam final so um yeah great how old are you i'm 12. uh pretty much since my mum told me about the heats and coughs which was three weeks before the actual event so yeah that's pretty much it did a little bit before but not much really yeah <laughs> time to listen my brothers take a seat it's time to unlearn my fathers and practice what our gurus have preached it's time to make some room for women in this world and when I say we I don't just mean me or the left the right the religious seditious brown black white I mean all of us Australia you remember when the night soil man came to your place to take the can of waste away from your backyard these days it isn't quite so hard unless you're living in the bush you flushed it all with one small push. Raised myself out of the gutter as a single mum, never knowing how I would clothe or feed my son, not knowing what we would become, I wear the word warrior upon my chest. Progressive millennials voice regression in rhymes while aging populations flying boat no on our skylines. I lay awake at night, my lord, and my sins appear before my eyes. I cry, for I never realise. I've only now come to know you. My knight in shining armour, what a charmer, whom you might find exotic, but I find robotically erotic. In second place, with a score of 28.1. 28.1. This is why you don't go over the time limit, y'all. 28.1. Give it up for... Sally Raphael. <laughs> uh, I came second out of 21 poets from around New South Wales, so that's pretty good. With a score of 28.4, please give it up for the winner of the New South Wales State Final of the 2017 Australian Poetry Slam, Sarisha Sarathran. <laughs> It feels really good. <laughs> it feels real nice. It feels like people kind of care about what I have to say and um, respond really well. So uh, I'm glad. Thank I'm you glad. once again to all of our amazing poets. Do you think that you might be able to win this? I hope so. I really hope so. I mean, even if I don't, I've still got the opportunity to do what I'm doing, which is a lot more than I ever thought I was going to. Get in the first place. You seem pretty chilled about it. Yeah, it won't be tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to Sydney and uh, to the um, Word Travels National Slam final at the. Brrr. Oh, I thought the Opera House was there, but it's actually a big boat. It could be on a boat, it could be like a cruising slam. But how would we fit you all in? There are so many of you. This thing has become so wildly popular. I mean, we would need like a, a cruise ship. Has an idea. Slams on cruises. Yes. Anyway, it's not going to be on a cruise ship, it's going to be at the, <laughs> the River Cat, the Opera House, that's right. I've had enough of untimely death. 
I am totally over. Whoa. And that moment of clarity is like a little sun ray. And then one day, I got on a plane. Don't be such a girl, he said. Don't cry, he said. You bitch, you pussy, you fag, you girl. Don't be such a girl, he said. Please understand that you are loved and you're so damn admired. Please understand that you're so worthy of that love. Love trumps legality, especially in death. Because then, at least, you're no longer gay. And you know that that's best. I am a refugee. Assimilation and I were secret lovers. How can you use diplomacy to handle the potency of the youth? Is it truth that you do it unknowingly? You say that you want to support young poets, but then you don't support our poetry? <laughs> I've just really enjoyed the process and I've really enjoyed uh, being in the state final and watching the national final and uh, oh my god, <laughs> seeing how the national final turned out, I was nearly in tears. We're at the absolute end of our journey, we're here at the Sydney Opera House, the national final just happened behind those doors and the new Australian Poetry Slam champion is 12 year old Sully from Coffs Harbour. Thank you very much to Sully Raphael. I was definitely rooting for Sully from Coffs Harbour. He's close to my hometown. And uh, so there was the localism as well as the fact that I'm a mum and he's a kid and he's amazing. Speak to those who don't want to listen and embrace our differences. I think if the general public went along and watched it, they, they would just be thrilled by what they, what they saw, you know. It's, it's kind of like a punk literature movement, I think, that, that is coming up and um, people don't know how great it is yet. I felt really, really good, really good. Who knows, maybe I'll try and compete again someday in the future. We should do it, we should both compete oh. the same year. Great. I don't want you to lose to me, oh, come on. Right. No. Hi, Sully, congratulations. Right, right. I don't know, it just happened. It's pretty good. <laughs> I had to work for years. Um, no, so did he. he. That's 12 years of his life that he put into poetry slamming and that's the thing about poetry slamming. Mm -hmm.